All right, here we are. Kathleen's upstairs on her top bed, getting that all straightened out. She's got to straighten out and do some chores, and then she's going to go to Urban Air with a friend. So that's what she's got going on today. We've already put the dishes away. We've already cleaned up over here on this spot in the house. Now I'm going to go outside and show you what else I've done. It's like it's almost noon on uh, Saturday. What I've done already is I've already I turned the compressor on. I put uh, fresh air in uh, the truck. I put on the tires, uh, fresh air in the tires on the mini truck, fresh air on the tires on the trailer, on the camper trailer, on the golf cart, on the little lawnmower in the back back here. Uh, I've got the uh, golf cart out because what I plan on doing is I want to move it from over here over to this side over here. So I need to move all of this stuff. Actually, what I plan on doing, and that's something I need to do real quick, is I want to get this part here moved all the way to the right. And then all that stuff will sit over here. So it's more out of the way. Then the golf cart will sit on this side. Yeah. And then I need to get all of the uh, gas cans. I'm going to condense them into two of the big ones because I need to get rid of my gas cans. I've got way too many gas cans here. I don't, I just started collecting and yeah, that's just got a little bit out of hand. <laughs> so now I'm gonna move some of the, uh, some of the metal and straighten all this shit out. That way I can get this over here. And the reason I need to get this over here, cause we're working on the golf cart today. Golf cart needs the wheels taken off and I'm gonna scrub the inside of the wheels to try to get some of the luster of the chrome that's on the inside in there and try to buff them out I've got some stains in it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the stains out, but I'm gonna try like hell. And we need to start taking the golf cart apart so that we can get the new wrap onto this white. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that, but damn it, we're gonna give it a good shot and figure it out. So that's what's coming up today. Let me get this stuff moved out of the way so we can get the golf cart put over here so we can get it up on blocks and we can start ripping it apart. So, yes, let's have some fun. All right. Looking pretty good. Let me back up a little bit. You can see it all. I still got to do the gas cans. But now I've got a work area for the golf cart. And that helps to kind of block it off on that side from people being able to get all up in my business out here. See, because... From right here, you're coming down the street, you'd be able to see it, but right here, it kind of blocks it off. You still can see it from over here, but I don't know. I'm a weirdo about stuff like that. So now I got to get it jacked up I can get the wheels off. I can start brushing down and cleaning those. And then of course, like I said, I'm going to reduce the amount of gas cans I have keep a couple of the big ones and maybe a couple small ones and get rid of the rest. I'm not sure where I'm going to get rid of them, but we'll figure that out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got the wheels off. Golf cart's riding high. That whole area looks really nice now. Looks kind of like a workstation. So yeah, golf cart on blocks. And uh, got some other stuff raked up over here. Uh, worked on the uh, generator. Got the uh, the on-off valve needed to be cleaned out. The little bowl needed to be cleaned out. The actual bowl on the carburetor needed to be cleaned out. The gas tank needed to be cleaned out. <laughs> so I got all that cleaned out, started it up, and the panel right here, freaking ants just started falling out of it. So sat there and beat on it and beat on it and got the majority of the ants out you can kind of see them right here they're like everywhere inside there so we got that now I want to clean these real good polish them out and I want to get all of that looking clean on all of them so I'm gonna embark on doing that because all of them are really nasty and then get them polished out try to get some of this somebody 
looks like it was scratched up pretty good so we're going to try to get some of that buffed out i hope i can get a lot of that out and make these look good again i mean they do look good but better than they are so there freaking hot as hell at 6 p.m sunday or saturday evening i've got all day saturday and all day well half a monday morning i'm gonna work on my wife's car a little bit monday morning just check all the nuts and bolts and make sure everything's tied on her car so that's what i'll be doing on that day so mom's here kathleen is still down the way and uh freak i'm sweaty it's hot out here it's nice but it, it's humid out here not hot hot so all right i'd work on the rest of this all right let's work on the golf cart you got your uh oil dipstick right here you gonna pull that oil dipstick out and then that way you can get to the spark plug easier pull the wire off pull your spark plug out boom see how that one's dirty where can I see the light there Let's see if it can focus anyway it's dirty yeah I could clean it and put it back in there but you get these kits for next to nothing on uh, eBay, part number 22052. This is for the RXV. Gas powered. It comes with a spark plug. It comes with a... Where is it? A new fuel filter. Which that'll go over there, onto that one. And then you also got an air filter. And an oil filter. Oops, bye-bye, box. See, your little oil filter. And that'll go underneath. We'll get to that here in a minute. But right now, I'm just trying to change out this spark plug and get it switched out. That way, it ignites a little better and fires up faster. Uh, I was in here looking at it. This cable is actually right up against the exhaust. I didn't know that. I also have a wire that was up against it. It hasn't burnt through it. So what I need to do is I need to take a zip tie and I'm going to zip tie all this stuff together down here So that it's stays away from that exhaust and I don't end up This is just my choke cable still I don't have to buy a new choke cable and I can replace this wiring if it was to break But if it doesn't break then I don't have to so Checking all my grounds while I was in here checking all my wiring Here's the air filter this is really easy. You just unclip that, give it a little twist. Yep, that needs to be changed. That hasn't been changed in a while. That's mainly just rust on it. It's not real dirty, but that can still stop normal airflow from going through it. I've done this once before. It was quite a long time ago. I should be doing this about once a year. So there's the new one. Let's make sure you put that facing up with the hole down. I mean the hole up. That way, see, and that goes up like that. And then it'll just lock right in right here. If you can get it in there straight. It's easier done with one, with uh, two hands. There, there's that. Now my air filter is done. And I get the other spark plug and we'll get that in there and get that done. Be back in a minute. Got that switched out. I noticed it's cracking in the uh, fuel line. So eventually I'm going to have to change up the fuel line. I'm not going to do that this year, but that's definitely something I need to look at. I also looked at the belts. The belts are starting to look war. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this year, but we're going to try and we'll see what happens. But I do need to get a belt on hand that way if it does snap so that and the fuel lines are within this next year I need to get those done this <coughs> is uh, I guess the uh, fuel pump relay whatever the hell it is anyway it's it just sits in there there's no screws that hold it in so it keeps falling off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this with alcohol I've got some 3m adhesive tape I'm gonna use a couple short strips and, and stack them side by side and then uh, get that stuck back on there 
I'll put some right here, just two strips, and then that'll smash up against it. And that'll take care of that. And I've already got the new spark plug in. And you already saw that. So then we go underneath and do the oil change. All right, let's look underneath here. There's gonna be a hole right here and you've got your oil drain plug that goes right in the front of there. You're gonna want this as close to uneven as possible because the motor actually rocks back. So you're gonna wanna lift the rear up higher than the front in order to get that oil to drain out the front. And then your oil filter is right up here, right in front of it. So that'll be easy because when you pull that out, it'll also drain a little bit out there and come through this hole. So make sure you've got a can, which I just use an old coffee can, or you can use your drain, oil drain thing, catcher, and there's that. So I'm going to get that oil filter out of there. I don't know if, I can't remember how hard I put it in there. I got to get in there with two hands. See if I can get that off of there. That's how you drain it. And then you just put the plug in and put your new oil filter in there, prime it a little bit, and keep that can right where it's at. As you can see, I'm at the yard already. But let me finish up with, uh, I'm not gonna tell you the amount of oil that goes into each individual golf cart. Uh, it really just kind of varies. I don't know exactly what kind of oil you use. I use 10W30. Just a regular oil for a four-stroke motor um, but I just add oil until it's up to the level run it for a little bit check it again add a little bit more oil um, I think for me I was like I used like uh, what maybe four cups something like that really close to that four or five cups of, of oil but I don't do like one quart one and three quarter quarts I don't know I just for your application, add whatever oil you think you need to put into it up to where the fill mark is. So aside from that, that's it. I've got to get back to work. There's a few things I wanted to finish up this weekend, but I didn't get to it. We ended up having some extra family time. Mom was over, we lit a fire, we were outside. We had a good time playing and uh, watching movies uh, for for half half the time. It is Memorial, or uh, I'm sorry, Labor Day weekend. Which that's another thing, our trash ran this morning. It's Monday morning, why did the trash run? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, we didn't get our can out. We expected tomorrow. But yeah, lo and behold, they went by this morning and picked it up, so. Anyway, end of the video, that's how you change your oil in your golf cart and give it a service and a tune-up. Uh, it'll start up better, it'll run better. Like I said, check your belts, I need to get new ones. And we will see you guys in the next video, thumbs up which I hurt this thumb. I don't know if you saw on Facebook. I, I posted up pictures. I almost ripped my whole nail off. It was wonderful. And uh, give us some comments at the bottom. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See y'all later.